Today, we're gonna to talk about self-cutting mirrors. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about self-cutting mirrors. We did one recently, and we're gonna show you how we did it and, and why we think this is better than most other videos you see. Hey there, NJ Route22.com here with a quick alternate alternative way to make a self-cutting mirror. I'm gonna show you the back of the mirror because you know I don't want to deal with reflection and stuff. But most of the YouTube videos you've seen are copycats of each other. They take a they take three of these <clears throat> these two mirrors on the outside here are cheap old Walmart mirrors. They're 16 by 16 inches and they are like six bucks a piece. Let me just have a drink here and I'll finish the movie. It's been a long uh, three months. Anyway, I decided, and th what they did was they took tiny little hinges and put one folding in and then they took a T hinge and they bent it and they, fold they folded the two mirrors on top of each other. I did it opposite. I bought two Walmart mirrors for six bucks and I got a, I went on overstock.com and got a, what do you call it? A 16 by 20 mirror. The mirror inside is 16 by 20, but the frame is substantially bigger. And it allowed me to use door hinges, which I already had in stock here at home. And instead of folding them inward, I did it opposite. I put two hinges on the back and two hinges on the front. And these are heavy duty hinges. They're not rickety. They, uh, they hold really well. So what you do is when you, <clears throat> it's a little bit awkward. I'm gonna put Velcro on the back, but you fold one mirror in like this. I mean, I'm sorry, one mirror in like this, it folds on the front and the second mirror folds inward like this towards the back. As you can see here, it'll fold backwards. I'm gonna stick some Velcro here so it stays on. But, uh, and it folds like an accordion kind of. And these, uh, I'm gonna put more screws in. This, the, ba the backwards facing mirror, I can only get one of the three screws in. Um, and I'm gonna put three on, on all these too. But these hinges are a lot more stable and smooth. Um, and I was gonna hang it outside, just cut my hair outside and not have to clean anything up. But you have to do that on a day that there's absolutely no wind because these hinges are so buttery smooth that they don't, uh, the slightest gust of wind will change the uh, angle that you need. But, and this, like I said, this uh, overstock.com, uh, and ha I had to move the, the, the hinges up so I could hang it on a wall or a closet door or something. Um, it was about 30 bucks, so I paid $25 more than most people spent, but I spent zero dollars on the hinges because I already had them. So I happen to like the way this design works better. It's a bigger front facing mirror. Uh, even though you don't use the front facing mirror nearly as much as the side facing mirrors because that's where you get the, the cut or for your angle, for, the, for your neck, if you want to do your neck yourself but everything else is, is just great. So I highly recommend doing it this way. Um, and that's it. It's an alternative way to make your self-cutting mirror. This is more of a technical thing than a, uh, I'm not gonna show you cutting my own hair, even though I did a video or a story a few weeks ago about my girlfriend completely botching my, uh, my hair. I look like a, like, like a retard. All right, that's it. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you next video.